This way the king will come. This is the way to Julius Caesar's ill-erected tower, to whose flint bosom my condemned lord is doomed a prisoner by proud Bolingbroke. But soft, but see, or rather do not see my fair rose wither, yet look up, behold, that you in pity may dissolve to do and wash him fresh again with true love's tears. Ah, thou, the model where old Troy did stand, thou map of honor, thou King Richard's tomb, and not King Richard. Thou most beauteous inn, why should hard-favored grief be lodged in thee when triumph is become an alehouse guest? Join not with grief, fair woman, do not so, to make my end too sudden. Learn, good soul, to think our former state a happy dream, from which awaked the truth of what we are shows us but this. I am sworn brother sweet to grim necessity, and he and I will keep a league till death. Hie thee to France, and cloister thee in some religious house. Our holy lives must win a new world's crown, which our profane hours here have stricken down. What? Is my Richard both in shape and mind transformed and weakened? Hath Bolingbroke deposed thine intellect? Hath he been in thy heart? The lion, dying, thrusts it forth his paw and wounds the earth, if nothing else, with rage to be overpowered. And wilt thou, pupil-like... Take thy correction mildly? Kiss the rod and fawn on rage with base humility? Which art a lion and a king of beasts? A king of beasts, indeed. If aught but beasts, I had been still a happy king of men. Good sometime queen, prepare thee hence for France. Think I am dead, and that even here thou takest as from my deathbed thy last living leave. In winter's tedious nights sit by the fire with good old folks, and let them tell thee tales. Tell thou the lamentable tale of me, and send the hearers weeping to their beds. And some will mourn in ashes, some coal black, for the deposing of a rightful king. My lord, the mind of Bolingbroke is changed. You must to Pomfret, not unto the tower. And, madam, there is order tained for you. With all swift speed you must away to France. Northumberland, thou ladder wherewith all the mounting Bolingbroke ascends my throne— the time shall not be many hours of age, more than it is, ere foul sin-gathering head shall break into corruption. The love of wicked men converts to fear, that fear to hate, and hate turns one or both to worthy danger and deserved death. My guilt be on my head, and there an end. Take leave and part, for you must part forthwith. Let me unkiss the oath twixt thee and me, and yet not so, for with a kiss twas made. Part us, Northumberland, I toward the north, where shivering cold and sickness pines the climb. My wife to France, from whence set forth in pomp, she came adorned hither like sweet May, sent back like hollow mass or shortest of day. And must we be divided? Must we part? Aye, hand from hand, my love, and heart from heart. B Bedish us both, and send the king with me. That were some love, but little policy. Then whither he goes, thither let me go. So two together weeping make one woe? Weep thou for me in France, I for thee here. Better far off the near, be ne'er the near. Go, count thy way with sighs, I mine with groans. So the longest way shall have the longest moans. Come, come, in wooing sorrow let's be brief, since wedding it there is such length in grief. One kiss shall stop our mouths and dumbly part. Thus give I mine, and thus take I thy heart. Give me mine own again. T'were no good part to take on me and keep and kill thy heart. So now I have mine own again. Be gone, that I might strive to kill it with a groan. We make woe wanton with this fond delay. Once more adieu, the rest let sorrow say.